What's going on everybody? Respawn Gentleman here. Welcome to another episode of the No Man's Sky Beginner's Guide. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how you can make money by scrapping ships. So in order to do this, the your journey will kind of start on the space station and end on the space station. And that's to make it a little bit easier. So what you want to do is head over to the cartographer, which is next to the teleporter on the left side if you just got out of your ship. So you'll talk to him and you'll want to exchange for specific charts. All right, so in order to do this, you'll need to be on the space station kind of for the beginning and ending. So the first thing you'll need is you need to make sure you have some navigational data. If you don't know how to get some, a lot of times over on this side with the technology merchants, you'll see these like blue cubes or like orange triangle things. A lot of times you can scan those and it'll give you navigational data. So you can go through and check a lot of these desks. Most space stations have these. Uh, sometimes there's a table with like a black circle as well you can use. Uh, but those will give you navigation data as well as the beacons at any building you land on on any planet. If you save at that beacon, then it'll give you a navigational data as well. So now that we have some navigational data, you want to head to the other side of the space station, which is where the teleporter is, and you would come over here and talk to the cartographer. Once you talk to him, you'll want to choose the second option, which is exchange specific charts. And then it'll give you all these charts you can see above me. The only one we're concerned about for this particular topic is this emergency chart right here. So purchase as many as you have uh, navigational data for. I'm going to purchase about 10 just to kind of help make sure we find the right thing. Once you've gotten all the charts that you want, you'll just go to your inventory and hold X to plot a route. Now this one happened to find an abandoned building. That's not what we're looking for. So that's why you want to purchase more than one because you're probably going to have to click it a few times. So I'm going to keep clicking it until it shows something that we're actually looking for. Now when you're doing this, if you get this message right here, you cannot use chart. Basically, you will either have to keep trying until it finds something or you'll actually have to go to that spot and kind of complete that objective. So this one found a crashed freighter site. I had to make sure the destination was reached so I can then go back into my ship and plot the route again. Now, another thing you might have to do if that message keeps popping up is you might actually have to go to either a different planet in that system or a completely different system if you're trying to find the specific thing that we're looking for. Okay, so this is kind of what we're looking for. You've got distress signal and there's a distress beacon. Those are kind of the two things that you're looking for. Um, I think they changed it. Originally, it meant a stress, distress signal was a crashed ship and a beacon was a um, person who was needing their ship repaired. I think it's changed slightly. Um, so I think they're kind of both interchangeable at this point. Um, but let's go ahead and head over there. I'll show you what, what you need to do. So once you've reached the destination, this is what you're looking for. You're looking for a ship that's down like this and it's on fire, smoke everywhere. That's the important thing. Now, if you see an NPC near the ship, that means that you would just be repairing the ship for him, which can be helpful, but that's not the purpose of this video. So you need to find one that does not have an NPC and it lets you interact with the ship directly. When you access the ship, you can see there's a ton of stuff that's broken and needs repair. But what you want to do is click compare and then you want to claim ship. Now, this only works if you don't already have six ships claimed. So if you already have six ships claimed, then you're gonna have to get rid of one of those. I'll show you how to do all that as soon as we claim this one. So I'm gonna claim the ship. What that does is it just adds it to your ship inventory. So now I have two ships. I've got my golden vector right over there and I've got this guy. So the main things you need to repair is the launch thrusters, which just like when you initially repaired your ship to leave the planet at the beginning of the game, you need 50 pure ferrite, a dihydrogen jelly, and you need a hermetic seal and a metal plating. Now, once you've done that, this ship is now good to go. You can actually go sell this right now. Um, it depends on the resources you have. If you have enough resources to fix everything, you can make this thing worth a lot more money. But for the most part, it's not worth it. It ends up costing too many resources to give you anything at all. So once you've repaired those, all you'll need to do is 
take the ship and launch it into space and head over back to the space station now one thing you do kind of want to be a little careful because if you have if there's anything of value that you transfer to the ship um, there's a possibility of pirates attacking you and if you didn't repair the shields like i did um like i like i didn't repair them either um, if you get attacked you could possibly die but at the same time that rarely happens and even when it does their the ships can barely hit you <laughs> so you don't even really need to worry about it all you need to do is once you get to the space station head over here to the technology merchant side and you want to go right over here to this machine which is the starship outfitting so what's cool about this machine it lets you do a ton of different things so you can either upgrade your starship so you can make it a higher class give it more slots um, all sorts of stuff so if you really want to beef up like let's say you you have a C class and you want it to be an S class it costs a lot of money but you can do that here and if you want to see a video on that and like what all the prices are and everything leave a comment down below and make sure you click that like button as well so the option you want to use is the claim scrap worth option which will be the third one down um, and you can't really see it. it's behind my head I should have moved my camera up. But either way, um, this one is actually worth 1,140,000 units. So let's go ahead and claim scrap. Now, one thing that is important to remember about this is it doesn't give you the money. It gives you the scrap parts, and you have to sell those. So if I go to my exosuit, you can see I just got a whole bunch of stuff that I didn't have before. Um, like none of these were filled out so I've got all of these things here that are new so I have to go sell those in order to get that money back so to sell them you can do this on either side if you want to stay on this side just go to this door at the end and then come in here the layout back here is always different but just locate the galactic terminal if you don't want to go to that door the other side of the galactic terminal is just out in the open but basically, when you're at the terminal, go to sell, and then all the things that you just got, just sell them. Got that one, that one. We had some activated indium. These, those. So we just went from 130,000, if you saw that before, to 1,258,890 units. Just by scrapping one ship, this thing, it's its amazing. Now, if you're wondering what to do with these things here, you notice I wasn't able to sell those. Well, it's because they're technology. So if you want to get rid of those, you want to go to any of these technology merchants. doesn't matter which one. So just like before, you want to go to the sell option, and you can see here that I can now sell these. Now, you'll notice that these give you nanites instead of units, which nanites are used for something completely different uh, than units are, and... You're going to need a lot of them if you want to do certain things, especially like upgrading your starship. Nanites are kind of needed for that. So if you want to upgrade your starship, you definitely want to sell any technology that you're not going to use. Because if you're not going to use it, why keep it, right? So all you got to do is sell it. I have 178. And now I've got 361. So it's that easy. You just need to keep finding those ships. And there's tons of them everywhere. And the higher the, the ship class starts, the higher the amount of money you'll get. So that's one thing to keep in mind when you're looking for ships. Now, if you want to know how to determine what class the ship already is, you just look at it here. You can see the, the stats on the side. Um, this is an S class. I actually upgraded that one. Uh, that's the original ship you get with. I upgraded all the way to the max. If I were to sell this one, it would give me 155 million units, roughly. And let's see, this ship right here, this is uh, one of the NPC ships. This happens to be a C-class. And um, this one could give me 5 million units. So it doesn't have to be abandoned ships. It can even be ships that you come across that NPCs have. And if you have enough money to purchase the ship from them, then depending on the cost, you might actually you know, be able to make some money on that. But it's much easier to use the damaged ships as it doesn't cost you any money to use those. All right, so that's going to do it for the first money-making video in my No Man's Sky Beginner's Guide series. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you click that like button. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button as well. See you guys next time.